Hello, I'm Kiel Whitford, Product Training Specialist for Agri Supply. We thank you for joining us today. Today we're going to review simply how a log splitter works. Alright, this particular one is the 22 ton model that we stopped. It works in the vertical or the horizontal position. Here we currently have it bolted up into the vertical position. It's powered by a gasoline engine, six and a half horsepower. And then this is the hydraulic pump. All right, it's connected with something similar to what we know as flexible couplings or, or brand name example would be like Lovejoy coupling. Joins the pump shaft and the motor shaft together. All right, now here's what happens. As you can see, follow my hand down. The hydraulic reservoir for, for, the, for this particular unit is located above the axle, just a rectangular tubing which you'll probably see here shortly. Coming right down here, this long rectangular tubing is the reservoir. Okay. When the engine is starting, the pump starts working. It pulls the fluid from that reservoir into the pump. Pushes the fluid out, follows this hose, and comes into this valve, or hydraulic valve. Now, currently this valve is in a neutral position. So, what's happening, the fluid is traveling right through the valve, coming back down this hose that you keep going to lose now in a minute, but it comes right back, and here you go back over here, Back over here, and comes right back into the tap. All right, so it's a continuous loop. Now, in the operation of it, now once we, let's say, once we're wanting to get ready to split our piece of firewood, all right, maximum length that this one will handle will be a 24 inch piece of wood. You would slide it up and put it right in here, and then here you would press down on the handle, and when you press down on this handle, it causes fluid to come out of the back of the valve, travel up this hose, come into this cylinder casing, come down this pushing on the back of the piston, causing this piece to come right on down and split through the wood. When you finish going all the way through, this particular cylinder has a 24 inch stroke, 4 inch bore piston, <coughs> excuse me, and then, then it's time to bring the cylinder, bring this cylinder back in, which of course will bring this wedge in. Pull it up and it'll lock into place. As it's traveling back up, when it gets back into its closed position, it'll, it'll automatically sense the pressure setting and then it pop back to neutral. And then uh, that's this known as a detented valve. So it, it'll, it's in pretty much as an automatic return type valve, meaning that you can pull it up and it locks while it's traveling back up. You can at that time reach over and get another piece of wood or, or move the piece you may need to hit it at another time or, another, uh, or twist the wood to hit it at another spot. But that's how that works. Now, in splitting wood, you split the wood with the grain. Take, for instance, you wouldn't roll a, a block of firewood up there on its side. You would, there again, split it with the grain. A lot of times there might be hairline cracks in the block of wood where you can find a certain hairline crack that's there. Line that wedge up with that, and it'll, it'll go ahead and split even more. Now, when the cylinder's coming back in, we talked about the detent, but it redirects the flow of the fluid come out of the bottom of the valve into the bottom of this cylinder and then where this imagine envision this being all the way down to be a two inch diameter rod there connected it to this wedge pushes back up on the back of the piston coming out of this bottom part of the valve pushing the piston right on back up to the closed position there again when it's closed the cylinder the valve pops back to neutral and that's just the very basic how to of how the lock splitter works. Available to you at Agri Supply. Thank you for joining us today.